Mine shafts are very old structures, added all the way back in 1.8, also known as the Adventure Update. They're found deep underground. In it, you can find rails and minecarts, torches, cobwebs, and many other valuables. It's also the only way you could get some wood down here. Be careful with poison spider spawners, those could be deadly. And they also have a variant in the Badlands. Instead of the normal oak logs, you find dark oak logs. But these places are not just old, they're ancient. If you give a closer look at these places, you see that they're abandoned. And they can be found in the depths of the world, hidden. And I think that tells a story. We're all led to believe that whoever built them are long gone. If you look closely, you'll notice that there are no elevators or staircases here, which may indicate that when they were built, they were at the surface of the world. To me, mineshafts were just another structure to be found in the game. I would mostly find them while caving, so it was a nice break to come across one of those. I could restock on some torches, maybe find some food and diamonds, and if I'm lucky, an enchanted golden apple. But other than looting, there isn't anything else to do here. I would just forget about them as soon as I left it. But I'm trying a new approach to Minecraft this time. I'm trying to look at this world in a new way. And things that I took for granted before are now becoming part of my experience here. So when I was in one of those mines recently, I started to ask some questions. If I was someone who was actually living in this world, how would I think about this place? Is it curious, mysterious, suspicious maybe? Probably. Especially when I'm writing our own history here. I need to pay attention to the history of the world as well. So this time, instead of just taking what I can find here and leave, I decided to incorporate this to our world. So let's not make this intro longer than it needs to be. This is my new approach to mine shafts. But before we start, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my last video. I was not expecting that many people to watch, let alone comment. There were many kind comments and you guys were amazing. So I just didn't want to let that pass without mentioning it. So thank you guys so much. So now one more time. This is my new approach to mine shafts. Hello and welcome. We begin today right here at our castle. This is our base. And reason why we begin right here is because in that cave is the, uh, the first mine shaft that I ever explored in this world. First one I ever encountered. I already took most of the loot, most of the important things in there. And I even returned a few days later to collect uh, cobwebs as I was... I needed cobwebs for just adding some details to a couple of places as well as um, the fishnet, I think you call it, <laughs> on our fishing boat, uh, which you can see all the way in there. But the so why mine shafts though all of a sudden because uh, last episode we're talking about building an empire and so on so 
I am working on something right now that requires a lot of cobwebs. And since I already took all of the cobwebs that I can find on this mineshaft here nearby, uh, we're going to go and look for a second one. Actually, I'm saying look for a second one, but I already know where that is. Uh, I found another mineshaft about like 200, 300 days ago. And I think that one is in a good location that we can probably uh, do something with it. And I mean, actually, that's what I did. <laughs> so I'm going to go over there now and show you guys what I've been working on. I've been thinking a lot about the structures in the game. And I feel like we normally take it for granted, most of them. It's just a place that we can find something and then we just forget about them. And I wanted to change that a little bit. I wanted to maybe, maybe find a purpose for some of them. And let's, let's not forget that uh, if we're telling a story, if we're documenting everything as like in history books, uh, we also have to consider the past as well. Things that were here before we arrived. And I think Mineshaft is a great example. It's a... Uh, it was definitely built by someone, not just like a mountain or a river. And it's kind of like in the spirit of the game. I mean, the game is called Minecraft and it's a mineshaft. So it's a, it's kind of like a way of telling the player in a way that um, this is what, this is what not just you as a player doing right now, but this is what everyone does in this world. And the fact that there's so many mineshafts, so it's quite easy. It's quite easy to find one actually. So um, I think that does tell a message, gives a message of what exactly you kind of have to do. So I, I would assume that it was quite normal to uh, to you know like a civilization or a group of people community to if they ever come across one of those, they would ask a bunch of questions. Where where did that come from and who built them how long ago that kind of thing there's definitely a lot more structures out there i haven't given a lot of thought about the other ones but i'm sure that we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually especially things like the uh the desert temple or uh ocean monuments and so on as we Travel to uh, what's this? This is north northwest, right? As we travel here, uh, we can kind of see at a distance uh, what I've been working on. So, if you remember, this is where this is the road that leads to spawn. That spawn valley. And we're gonna go that direction there, to that island, or is that an island? No, that's connected, so we're gonna go to that place. <laughs> so right here, we have the surface of the mineshaft. Now, this is called the Sunflower Mine, and that's just because uh, there's a bunch of sunflower here. <laughs> and. The reason why we have this hole is actually I, I dug up from the mine shaft, which is all the way down here. And I exited here and then I made this area so we can easily access the underground. As we started working on the surface here, uh, we got a nice tent here. We have someone living here. This is a toolsmith. He's nameless. For now, but he's a master toolsmith. I already traded a bunch with him because I would imagine that this is one of the professions that we we'll need. We we'll need people with offering us some tools, working on some tools, so we could, uh, you know, explore the mines. Uh, not the best trade, I would say. I mean, the diamond pickaxe is not bad, but I was, uh, yeah, but I was hoping for. A better shovel <laughs> but you know it's it's okay we, we can have another one later uh, so he's here he's uh he's in a tent 
we have like a small campfire here. Up here is just like a storage area, all of the stuff that I mined. I tend to not bring a lot of materials when I'm working here, like when I'm working far away from our base, I tend to just uh, bring the basics and just collect things in the area as I need. So coal, iron, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, we, we had a, we had, one, we had someone trespassing, so we had to take care of them. <laughs> uh, um, deep slay, some other random stuff, food, a bunch of tools that I had to trade. Oh, got my gold here. And some wood. Um, and then here is kind of like a... I'm not going to say storage, but where we keep some of the ores that we find. So, I don't know. This is just, just for looks, but... This is some of the stuff that I found in, in the mines. So, you know, we just have some of them. By the way, uh, <laughs> I spent so long here that I ended up finding a couple of zombie villagers. Uh, so maybe we can cure them eventually. So let's go down to the mines because this is where I, I've done a lot of work. Or some of the work, not, not a lot. Now, this is a 5x5 five five staircase that is connected to the mines. It goes all the way to Deep Slate. And the fences here on the side, it's kind of like... I wanted to, to feel like it was quickly put together by people with not a whole lot of experience in building. So you, you get some weird fences here and there, kind of like trying to hold the staircase together. Who knows, maybe there would be an accident in the future <laughs> and uh, this this entrance here will be, will collapse or something. <laughs> and right here, we've got some water. If you're brave enough, you could just jump down here in the water, you should be fine, but I try to avoid that, I don't want to risk dying. But I imagine, you know, uh, there's a lot of wonder water, oh, sorry, there's a lot of underground water, uh, I would imagine. So maybe this one, there was like a hole or something, like a cave or something, and there's just water leaking here. That's why you have like a, a raised up area, and the water actually kind of like continues here and it goes there <laughs> just for looks of course uh, I've got some glow berries that I found so I why not using them for some natural light and then here I've got a small area for storage these are all the rails that I found so far I haven't explored a hundred percent of the of the mine shaft yet and that's because I <laughs> I get lost every time I go out so I am slowly uh, exploring and putting some uh, signs or, or something to indicate, you know, where it's a dead end or, you know, where uh, which place leads to where. It's kind of confusing. If, if you've been, I mean, you've, you've probably been to a mine shaft, so you know how confusing it can get. And here, just some more stuff that I found. Um, and then in here, by the way, we did find another one. I keep finding these guys. And... Uh, I did have a minecart. Hmm, I had a minecart. Oh, too bad. I would have taken a ride, but anyway. So this is a small station, if you can call it that. And I had a minecart. I don't know where it went, but... Um, if you take, if you go here, it will just take you to a few places around in the mines. And I'm trying to connect the, uh, connect the mine carts to some open areas in the cave. Like that, 
well, actually not like this one because this is a dead end, so there's no need to stop here. But if you continue going this, in this direction here, this is also a dead end. But if we continue going here, oh, there you go, that's my minecart. I'll take that. Uh, you would stop here, this is the first stop. And if we go down here, there's a huge cave that I have yet to explore. There's a lot of, uh, probably a lot of ores that I, that I need to come collect. So that's why we have some stopping points. That would uh, make, make it easier for me in the future if I want to go mining. Um, so if we hop here and press this button, we continue our, our ride. Oh yeah, I had to break. Damn it, this is all... This is not looking good. Okay, let's try again. Now I'm gonna take the full ride now. Excuse me, sir. Ow. Yeah, I had to take some of the rail out because I was transporting uh, this zombie villager here. <laughs> and the, if you don't know, they don't go over rail lines uh the rail so they would just stop here and not come not cross it <laughs> so that's why all right let's do this again oh by the way um this is what i was talking about so this is a dead end so we can just uh Oh yeah, I left a mine card here. Good thing I checked again. Let's take it. So it's uh, it's what I'm, what I'm gonna be doing slowly is just marking areas that are either a dead end or you know if uh, they connect to something, then I can just put signs or mark it in a different way. You know, this way it'll make it easier for me to. Um, Ouch. To uh, walk around. Alright, let's do this. This is the best part, so that's why I wanted to. <laughs> Ouch! Uh. Oh, I don't have a sword. A shoot. Ooh. Do I have a shoot? Yeah, I have a shoot. I have a shield and then I don't use it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. But like I said, this is the best part, so... Um, I wanted to show this. You would stop here, yeah. And then say this is the first stopping point, so you can just go explore, or if you want to continue, you can just press the button, and that will lead to another big opening area here in the mines. Which is going to be here. Now, again, I haven't explored everything, but I know that there's a big cave, um... Is it here? Ah, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think there's anything to explore here. So I can probably just continue uh, in there, but anyway, that's the idea. That's, um, that's how I'm gonna transform this, this mineshaft and make it, like, operational. Make sure that we, that we use it as I would imagine someone would use it. So, I think this is all I had to say about mineshafts for now. This is still a work in progress, but I'm not going to be working on this place right now. There's some other things that I want to do. 
So we're going to put this book here that I've been writing about wine shafts back in its place. And we're going to move to something else. But I am curious to know what you guys think about it. Did you ever consider doing something similar with any structures in a game? Uh, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be mine shafts, but I am interested to know your approach as well to these kind of things. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment. I would love to, to hear you guys. So until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.